Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's the best way lazy spa and tips on how to look after your inflatable hot tub and keep your water nice and clean. I'll show you 10 handy tips to keep it all in great nick. It's much more enjoyable if you're in your lazy spa and the water's in really nice condition, nice and clear, because once it gets all murky like this, no one's going to want to go in that. Right, let's get cracking. Tip one. Ideally, before anyone gets in your lazy spa, it's a great idea to have a shower. This just washes off any deodorants, any skin creams, sun cream, fake tans, things like that, which can murk up your water and make it pretty disgusting very quickly. Tip two is just to lay a towel next to your lazy spa and make sure that before anyone gets in the lazy spa that they just wipe their feet just to get rid of any bits of dirt and grit which can get onto your feet just before you climb in. Tip three, ideally anybody with long hair that should be tied up because if long hair gets in the filter that can block it up very quickly. Tip four, if it's absolutely lashing down with rain it's not a good idea to spend time in your lazy spa because every droplet of rain has a bit of dirt in it. So unless you've got a gazebo type cover over the top of your lazy spa it's not a good idea to go in it when it's raining. Tip five, you can buy some accessory cleaning packs which come light with a net, but I've just got this sieve here which I used especially for the lazy spa and just use this to get out any bits of leaves or dirt that are floating around on the surface of the water before they sink to the bottom and start clogging up the filter. Tip six, which is really important, if you've got a ChemConnect device or a floating device, make sure that the chlorine tablet is always topped up, never let that get completely empty. And there's a link above now about how to use the ChemConnect device on this lazy spa. You can buy these test strips, which is an easy way to check the chemical levels in your lazy spa. And then you can adjust the chlorine levels using your ChemConnect device. Tip seven, make sure that you change your filter regularly, probably about every three to seven days. It is really important to put a nice brand new fresh filter inside your lazy spa. This will really help keep the water much cleaner. This is what a dirty filter looks like and this is a brand new clean one. And there's a link above about how to replace the filter on this best way lazy spa. Tip eight, when you're not using your lazy spa, make sure that you always put the cover on. This stops any bird poo getting in here or leaves or dirt, anything like that. And it also helps retain the heat inside your lazy spa water when the heating is on. And it's a good idea to also clip the cover down in case it's gonna be a really windy day. You do not wanna lose your cover. Tip number nine, the lazy spa does not like being left out in direct sunlight, especially if it's really hot days. Direct sunlight will start degrading the material and the covers. You can buy an official thermal cover from Best Way, which is really good. That helps give it a bit of extra insulation and protection. If you can't afford that, just any cover will do. This is just a shower curtain, or you can just put a sheet over it if it's a really hot summer's day. And don't forget the childproof clips. When you remove the cover, you just squeeze in the sides and push the button at the top. Tip number 10, always leave the water filtration system running. This is only very low wattage, about 50 watts, but this helps keep your water really clean because it's constantly pumping the water through the filter system. So even when you're not using it, always leave this on. And tip number 11, every two to three months, you will need to empty the lazy spa and replace it with fresh water. And there's a link above now about how to do that. That is a pretty simple process. Unfortunately, dogs cannot use the lazy spa. It's just for us humans. Up here is a video on how to adjust the ChemConnect strength. That's the chlorine strength in your spa. Up here is how to add additional air if it starts getting a little bit soggy. And down here is how to clean your filters and save a bit of cash. Thanks for visiting my channel everyone, I really, really appreciate it.